In this tutorial, we are going to create our first chart in Microsoft Excel. Charts are excellent tools because they give comparable images of different values providing a more efficient representation of data inserted into a report. If you have been following along, then you should have your sales report that we created in previous tutorials. If not, then you can still learn how to use charts in Excel by following the steps provided. Inserting charts in Excel. There are different ways to insert charts in Excel. The most common way is to select the data range and then pick the type of chart that best represents your data. Let's do an example. In our example, we are going to create a column bar chart that represents multiple series of data. The categories will be the types of shoes and the series will be fiscal year 2011 sales and fiscal year 2012 sales. Step 1. Select cells B3 through D11. Step 2. Now click on the Insert tab and select the 3D clustered column chart. This chart is used to compare multiple series of values among different categories. In our example, we are only using two series of values, but it can be used for more than two series of values. Step 3. Now double click the chart title and enter sales report. Step 4. Hold your cursor over the corner of the chart and your cursor will turn into a diagonal double arrow. Click and move your mouse until your chart is the size you want. Step 5. Double click on a blank part of the chart and a format chart dialog box will appear. A contextual tab named chart tools will also appear in the ribbon. In the format chart area, you will see chart options. Click on the fill button and select gradient fill. Step 6. Now click on the effects button in the format chart area and experiment with the different types of effects. Step 7. Now while the chart is still selected and the chart tools contextual tab is still activated, click on switch row, column, and the data group. When you do this, Excel will make each item an individual series and will make fiscal year 2011 and fiscal year 2012 the horizontal axis labels. Step 8. Play with the different chart styles located in the ribbon under the Chart Tools contextual tab and choose a chart style that you like. Additional Chart Formats and Tools There are thousands of different ways you could format your chart and it would be very time consuming for me to walk you through every single one of these different options. Microsoft has made Excel self-explanatory for the most part and I'm just giving you a starting point for you to learn on your own. In the Chart Tools Contextual tab, you can modify your font with different styles, sizes, and colors. You can also modify the entire chart by selecting the entire chart, or you can modify certain parts of the chart by selecting the part that you want to modify. You can add fills, patterns, shadows, glow, etc. The point I'm making is that it seems as if Microsoft has given Excel users an infinite variety of styling options for our charts. Experiment with it yourself. 